The Blue Alliance, let's welcome from Taiwan, team number 11,047. That is team Screw It from Taiwan. Red Alliance ready, Blue Alliance ready, time's on the board, and three, two, one, go. Autonomous has begun. We have four robots quickly deploying from that lander. All four deployed. Nice job. A great way to start autonomous mode. Blue Alliance has one mineral field successfully sampled. Not wasting any time. 99.71 scoring a gold inside the lander in autonomous mode. That is a gold they got from the sampling field. I have not seen that done yet this season. Blue Alliance has fully claimed their depot by putting both team markers Driver. in the depot. Pick up the your Red Alliance cannot play defense by Three, removing markers two, from the blue depot. One. Land Bros getting two gold. Nice job scoring in the cargo hold of the lander. Two more before I even finish announcing. They have made a complete cycle. Red Alliance not far behind. Two more gold in the lander. Tower, the Oxford Wildcats making a quick cycle time by not moving their chassis very far. On the field, uh, Wildcats, nice job. Two more gold. That makes six gold for red on this side. Five silver for blue. The crater is becoming pretty empty. This is wonderful. We have the Wildcats getting a lot of gold scored in there. Joining them, 13, 9, 17, picking up gold and silver from the match. We have 50 seconds. We're less than a minute uh, remaining in this match. Oh, man, Landros have scored two gold in the Red Alliance Depot, or holding area of the lander. That was a close call, 13-9-17, almost had a silver stock in their robot. We are now in end game. Teams can climb the lander whenever they need to. One crater is almost empty. Land Bros struggling to get to those silver and gold minerals inside their crater because there's so few remaining. Seven seconds left. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. And there you have it. And the Blue Alliance wins at 375. And the Red Alliance, 244. Great job.